It seems to me that education is one of the most important things this country has got to do, what it has to give to kids. If there's any industry that has to quickly become more modern and more relevant and more exciting to capture the hearts and minds of kids, it's education, particularly science and engineering education and arts. But it's not the teacher's fault. The teacher's got a classroom. The teacher's got a syllabus. The teacher's got a curriculum. The teachers have to do what the education system says they got to do and then give you those quizzes and tests. It takes leadership to make change happen. Change is scary to some people. Change is hard. And that's why, unless you have people with courage and people with vision, the people that are willing to work at it and invest in it, invest their time and their energy and their money, you don't get change. Fortunately, you got a mayor and a superintendent and some teachers that recognize the need to get kids excited about really learning stuff that's gonna to matter to their future. And fortunately, these people have been able to do something that nobody else around the country has done yet. They put a stake in the ground and they said, we're going to change the opportunities for kids in schools and teachers in schools to do something that might really, really, materially affect what you kids learn and how you learn and give you a taste of what it's like to do really cool stuff while you're still young enough to get so good at that cool stuff that the colleges are going to be fighting over you and companies like mine are going to be fighting over you in the future. And if you think it's fun to play with this stuff, the highest paid people around here these days are the people that get paid to write programs like this, to make the internet work, to make those video games happen, to make it so that when you press a button you can get an airline ticket. The world depends more than ever on really smart people to protect us, to improve our health care. You've got to become those smart people. And this program is getting you to see the skill sets you need to become that generation of smart people. Being here with the children on the first uh, day that the first Lego League is in process, is a wonderful thing because you're hearing from the kids directly what a great thing it is that they're learning teamwork and the most inspiring thing is that you're hearing from teachers that will say that some of the students that are in classroom have changed their perspective since they're here and they've become leaders and that's a great thing. Well I'm thrilled to be here with Junior Steam Ahead because making sure that our young people have a chance to learn in a way that makes sense to them, to take the skills that are already kind of natural to them with technology, and then help them really learn the engineering, science, and math, and then the creative arts and communication skills they'll need to be the workforce of the 21st century is critical to us as a state and as an economy, and it's really exciting to see all these young people engaging with volunteer adults and mentors um, and having the support of the business community and the adult educators to make this all happen and to make sure that we can innovate and move forward and thrive. Um, we like what we're doing because it has a lot of fun and we and it's teamwork. Um, and we all have parts here. Lily is like the one that programs it and so does Sandra. They connected the wires out and the and if we need help we ask each other. We don't just try to do it by ourselves. That's the best thing. So um, teamwork. Yeah. That's the best thing about that part. Well, I'm impressed, ladies. Keep up the good work. And I'll be back to see what your product looks like when you're in the competition.